Morning guys, Tony back again, Horror in Todge, and this is my first ever Slash Bat Saturday. Um, it's by, it's a tag by the Horror Man, his real name's Joe, go and check his channel out, it's amazing. And he does a Slash Bat Saturday, it gives you a theme, so this week's theme is family. And uh, you pick a film, and then you review it on a Saturday, a slasher film obviously. And uh, it's really good. A lot of people do it, and I like watching the videos. So I thought this is the first. I think this is the twelfth week, and this is the first time I've done it. So <clears throat> I've got up early, six o'clock in the morning. And it's eight o'clock now. While I'm doing this, and I'll review what I've watched. So I've gone through my my the, um, collection and just tried to find something with family what I haven't seen before, and I come across this inbred British. Uh, low budget horror comedy and uh yeah I'll, I'll give you a bit about it i quite liked it and obviously i thought inbred i thought it must have family to do with it which it has so basically this is a 2011 film and it was written and directed by a guy called alex chandon i've never heard before i think he's done about he's done a few other things i think they're all low budget <clears throat> only cost uh, 1.2 million to make which uh, half the well, most of the budget must have gone on the gore because there's some decent gore in here, some horrible ones as well. But some of it, you're like, yeah, that's that's good. But basically, it's these um, like juvenile delinquents type thing. I don't know; they've had a bad upbringing, and uh, these care workers take them to this <clears throat> isolated village in Yorkshire to do this old house up. I don't know why they go there. Don't really explain. Don't go into a lot. There isn't a lot of dialogue, to be fair. And, uh, yeah, they go there. And this village is like, obviously, the people there are <laughs> weird and inbred. And it just goes downhill from there. But, yeah, it's quite a good film, guys. It's got... Um, the actors in it are James Burroughs, uh, a James Doherty. Joe Hartley, who I've seen in stuff in England uh, on telly in England before. Seamus O'Neill, who's the best actor in it, I think. He's uh, the old guy who runs the pub. Uh, Neil Leeper, Nadine Rose Mucklerin. I'll say I've never heard of half of these actors, but they don't do a bad job. It's not the best acting, but yeah, it's like Shaun of the Dead. It's sort of, um, it, it's more like a. British, it's like soap opera. It reminds me of Emmerdale, basically. It's, if you've watched Emmerdale in England, I know you American guys might not, but it's a soap opera. It's on every night. It's in the Yorkshire Moors. It's about a village and just, you know, a soap opera. Where well, it's that. And some of the, actually, some, uh, one, definitely one of the people out of Emmerdale is in it. Paddy, who's been in Emmerdale since I've been a kid. I was like, there's Paddy with a cleft lip wielding a chainsaw. It's like crazy to watch. But no, yeah, and th th like I say, these delinquents, and they go to this pub after they've done the house up, say, oh, let's go and have a drink in a pub called the uh, Dirty Hole of All Things. And they go there and, like, they don't sell coke and things. It's just all cliche, and all the, everyone in there are a bit deformed and big teeth, and but it's more funny sort of way. But like I say, um, uh, the gore in it's good, like when it gets going. And uh, the um, the bit where they've got like this, um, it's like this show on, and they show these like they capture all these, uh, what do they call them? What uh, intakers? And they capture them all and put them in this um, like cellar. They keep bringing them out and showing them doing this show, a bit like Saw, like that sort of thing, like torture sort of thing, and they're like walking these big horses over the top of them, and one of them hits a guy in the head and splatters his head everywhere, but yeah guys, if you like, um, if you like low budget sort of thing, I thought it was quite good, not brilliant, but you can just stick it on in the background and have a laugh, but this is my first uh, slash back Saturday, sorry it's not, I haven't looked up too much about it guys, not gone too into into it so yeah that's inbred um check it out guys it's a real good movie i like it
Now, you Americans might not pick up if you guys have watched it on, like, the British accent and that. It's all very British, very British. It's like, there's, like, this song in it that keeps singing, like, e ba e ba gum It's weird. Oh, it's really weird. But I liked it, and I'd give it a, probably, if out of ten, if I had to score it, I'd probably give it, I don't know, six and a half. Because some of it, some of the editing is, like... <laughs> You like someone's down, then they're up. It's oh, it's it's weird, but it, it was it was good. I liked it. So yeah, that's my Saturday uh, slash back challenge. Thanks, Joe, for putting it out there. And go and check the horror man out, guys. He's a wicked guy. Uh, yeah, and I'll catch you later. And we'll do some videos later. So yeah, I'll catch you all later, guys. Thank you.